Good morning, teammates, and welcome back to Teaching with Tania. Today is a professional development day, so I'm at school with no students, and it feels absolutely amazing because sometimes it's just hard to get things done when they're in here. And then I usually don't get time in my classroom. So I'm so grateful for this day just to get my class, my brain cells, everything ready for the week um, as we go into quarter two and beyond. I just need to clean, especially with all the sicknesses and just not even knows everything going around. I just wanna clean, disinfect my classroom and just get everything together. And I do have two professional development sessions today, one in the morning and then I go to lunch and one in the afternoon. But thank God they're virtual, so I'll be listening and multitasking and doing everything I need to do with those and just taking you guys along with me. filling up my candy bin that's like our rewards at the end of the week on Fridays and um, I need to refill that now I'm about to clean and disinfect my classroom <music> now that I have deep cleaned my room it's now time for my PD to start it is 8 30 and I got here around I forgot the time I'll put it across the screen but I got here and I feel so much better working in a clean room that I don't feel like it's disinfected with student um, germs. But hey, gotta love teaching. <laughs> um, it says, okay, the PD we started momentarily, got it. I'm gonna keep doing what I was doing. Which was organizing this pile of papers back here. So, what I have normally done is kept a pile of papers right here, like the stuff that I'm gonna need for the day but it has gotten very, very chaotic. And if you guys want a video on how I organize right there, then I would love to show you. But this has just not been working out for me. And let's just say I need a better system. I forgot I had colored paper in here. Look at that, amazing. Okay. Hmm. So I think what I want to do is do like a block one and block two. Let me create these. These are words that students should know. So they're going to play a game with the green and the pink ones. Get familiar with these words. And then, um, yeah, so I have these done. They'll do them in partners doing like a small group time. That will be one of their like independent stations. So that will be great. So we just had lunch. I'm eating pizza and this um, brisk lemonade at the teacher's lounge was actually pretty good. I thought the vending machines there were um, for show. I didn't think they worked. So apparently they do work. I'm about to eat this and my pizza and continue Good my professional development. everyone, welcome to preparing for grade level instruction section two, planning for the learning. Hello everyone, so I thought it was about to end this video, but then I realized that it's the next day and I didn't quite end the video. So here I am, and I promised you guys to answer some of you guys' questions. So I'm going to see what those were. The first one is, what is the best part about teaching? I'll start off with that one. The best part about teaching is that you're changing lives. I kid you not, changing lives, like that's a big responsibility. Like. Um, just the connections that you build with the students is like, wow, they really do care. And they really are just little humans. I have this one aide from my after school program, and she calls the students little people in the big world. And they truly are just little people in the big world, just trying to 
figure it out like we did. So I really do appreciate that part, just the students. The other best part I would say about teaching is that I'm not on my desk every day and every day is not predictable or the same. That's another reason like I love teaching. You just don't know what you're gonna get into. You don't know how the kids are gonna feel. You don't know how your lesson's gonna go. <laughs> that could be a positive or a negative, but I like that I'm not sitting at a computer doing whatever I need to do every day. Like I'm up moving around and sometimes moving around too much because my feet end up do hurting. But needless to say, that's my favorite part or the best parts of teaching. And then my least favorite parts will have to be the extra added on paperwork that I have to do. Like, uh, let me just take a breath. There are a lot of unnecessary things that I feel like teachers should not be doing and that we really should have an assistant for. If you really want teachers to do this, then great, give them a classroom helper or an assistant. Like, why well, I like grading papers, but like little stuff, I don't even know what I could say. Like, I don't know, it's just a bunch of tedious tasks that I just don't think need to be added in teaching to be an effective teacher. I understand like doing things outside of work, like planning, grading, um, interacting with families. Like I understand that's a part of the job in our career field, but there are some extra things that, I don't know if it's admin district, it just depends what are that added things that just literally stress me out. Knowing how to manage those things and not let them get the best of you and breaking it into chunks is what I've learned and have made it more fun. <laughs> It has made teaching like more fun and more manageable. So those are my questions. Um, if you have any more, of course, feel free to leave them down in the description box below. And if you've made it this far in the video, please let me know what you're going to be teaching in the future or how your school year is going. I love interacting with you guys down in, in the comments below. But before I end this video, I want to show you guys what I got. This is my unboxing. I played with my lead teacher recently and she had this stand and it was like, amazing it was something similar to it where i could put my personal computer my work computer here like it's literally perfect because sometimes i feel like i'm crunched over and just having bad posture and so this is like a little stand from amazon you can get it wherever this raises my computer up a lot and i won't be so crouched over lesson planning i feel like so that's amazing i also got a new phone case and then this new this new wireless mouse because um planning making slides all that stuff on a computer like it does take me a lot of time so having this wireless mouse i'll definitely keep you guys updated on how i like this but overall um i'm feeling the acrylic vibe um i can do this in my bed at my desk take it to work whatever i need to do so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to create a great day.